where should you stay if you are visiting Rome using points? Well, last year, my wife and I went to Rome in September of 2022, and we decided to stay at the Tribune Hotel, part of the Hyatt Group. And I'm convinced this is one of the best redemption opportunities in all of Rome. So if you're looking for a great place to stay and you wanna know, is this the right redemption for me? Keep watching. So last year, my wife and I did a 10 day trip all across Europe and that trip kicked off in Rome. And so we were looking for a place to stay and I Googled the best redemption hotels for Marriott, IHD and Hyatt. And I ultimately landed that Hyatt was gonna provide me the very best opportunity, specifically this hotel, the Tribune Hotel. Now, it was a little nervous to book this place because I couldn't find a lot of content on YouTube about this hotel. Now, it had great reviews on Google, so ultimately we did decide to book it despite not seeing a lot of content out there. And so this isn't gonna be a totally in-depth review of the hotel. This is just a really short video I wanted to share about our experience. But primarily, this review is gonna focus on the quality of the room, uh, the quality of the location, and the quality of the cost in which we booked using points. And so let's start there. Let's start with the cost. So we stayed for three nights in September of 2022. It was a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Hyatt considered this to be two off-peak nights and also one regular night. And so for us, we paid 24,000 points on the first two nights uh, each night and then 30,000 points for the third night. Now, note, this was for their premium suite. They do have other room availabilities at this hotel. I just wish I would have booked this sooner and I probably could have got even cheaper of a room. But check out this chart. You can see they have three different styles of rooms, king, regular suite, and premium suite, and they got three tiers of pricing, off-peak, regular, and peak. And the prices for all of these, even the peak pricing, is not that Bad. But if you're going in July and you want to pay these peak prices, these are not that bad. For 18,000 points to get a king room in the, in, in the city of Rome, I think is an awesome opportunity. So no matter when you go, I think the cost is going to be extremely reasonable. And this is only a Category 4 hotel part of the Hyatt Group, meaning if you have the Hyatt Chase co-branded card, you probably could use your free night certificate at this hotel. Now we didn't do that, I didn't have any available at the time, and sometimes you go to redeem that and certain hotels uh, are currently not accepting the free night certificate, so I'm not totally positive if they do or not, but it's worth checking out. If you have a free night certificate, log on the Hyatt and check right now. If you see it for you, maybe drop in the comments to let people know whether you see that available or not. But booking straight with points, this was an incredible redemption op option uh, in our opinion. Second, let's look at the room. Now the room was huge, all things considered, uh, but it was great. We had a balcony, a king bed, a really nice bath with a shower, uh, a little couch sofa area, and all the amenities you could ask for in this hotel room. It was also a corner room. It was extremely quiet. I'm wondering if all of their premium suites are in those corner spaces. I'm not quite sure about that, but the room was great. I, I don't really have anything else to say about the room. It, it was awesome. It was a great experience. It was clean, uh, it was comfortable, and it was quiet. And Truthfully, the location of the hotel itself felt extremely safe as we were walking in and around the hotel. So as far as the hotel and our room experience, it was awesome, 10 out of 10. The last thing I wanna take a look at was the location of this hotel in proximity to everything else in Rome. So this was one thing I was nervous about. If you look on a map, the Tribune Hotel is on the northern part of Rome. And so it made me a little nervous. Like, is this gonna be a far walk? Is this gonna to feel too far removed from Center City and all the things that we want to take advantage of? It turns out, no. Look at these walking distances. 15 minutes to the Spanish Steps, 16 minutes to the Trevi Fountain, 24 minutes to the Pantheon, 33 minutes to the Colosseum. Now, the one thing I do wanna note is coming from the hotel to all of these places, it was downhill, and on the way back, it was slightly uphill, right? So at the end of the day, it can be extremely tiring. Maybe you ate a lot of food, you walked and you know, did more walking than you're normally used to, and now you have this walk 15 minutes up to 30 minutes back to your hotel. 
it's not a lot, but at the end of the day, slightly uphill, it might seem like a lot. So depending on your physical capabilities, you might wanna take that into consideration. But truthfully, I think this hotel just being a little bit farther removed is what allows it to have such great price redemption of opportunities available. And so for us, it's like, yeah, we just wanna to get to the city. We got it, it's a great hotel, it's in a safe area, so we have to walk a little bit more. That was okay for us, and I wanna tell you it should be okay for you too. Because even though it wasn't quite in the center, it was very easy to get to all of the places we wanted to go. I would absolutely stay there again. Well, hey, I hope you liked this video. If you wanna see more about our trip overall, check out the video I did on the entire 10-day trip for Europe. And if you want to know more about things like this and other content I have about trips and credit cards, consider liking this video and subscribing and stay tuned for the next one.